The first time I heard about Torana was an article that I ran into in the news. It didn't say much about the underlying technology, so it just felt like it was another fancy Wi-Fi product that we have heard much about before in many other cases. Many of those claims have been made before uh, over many years in the industry, and I've been in the wireless industry for 20 years. And so uh, not long after that, we attended the first uh, Seeing is Believing event in St. Louis and there they demonstrated the technology, but they also were able to explain to us how it, it was achieved. And that gave me the confidence that the performance that we were seeing in this demo was reproducible, was sustainable, and it wasn't going to be one in a hundred customers experiences in this reliability it was going to be more of the opposite. We managed to acquire some of the first units and after having several of our people take a look at, at the equipment, set it up in the lab and, and get a feel for it, we decided to pick a place to test it first. Some of our network admins got a little cocky and said, well, if it's that good, let's put it to the test. And we had a, a real good location where we have interference from four different other providers that are in the area, very heavy noise. And we said, if it works here, it works anywhere. And so we threw a piece of equipment at one of those towers. We had a customer nearby that we had recently the nice service too because of all the noise and we decided to try them out with one of them first. But this time, not only we were able to connect them, but actually deliver over 200 megabits of service in an, in an environment where previously we had said, can't even connect you. And so we knew from that particular experiment that uh, it was just gonna get better from there. In the past, we've been sold on a lot of different products that you know promise X, Y, and Z and under deliver. And so my expectation was, oh, this is gonna be another one of those products where you know, so much speed is gonna be promised, it's gonna come in at half of that, and then there's gonna be an excuse delivered as to why you know, that happened, um, which was why I was one of the first people to doubt it. And uh, I'm not afraid to say that I was 100% wrong. I am now convinced uh, I believe in the product. It absolutely truly works. We've deployed over 6,000 miles of underground fiber and in the areas where we do that and if we do maybe a, 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 an overbuild of fiber to the home in the community, there's almost always a tower associated with it that will help us serve the outskirts of those cities uh, with fixed wireless. There's other areas where we do purely wireless but we also use the fiber in that case to feed the you know, interconnector towers as a middle mouth solution. Some areas are dense enough to build fiber, so we, we will always look at maybe a subdivision that has 100 or 200 homes and they're very close to each other. We, we may use that with fiber, but there's always those other areas around it that don't have that kind of density where fiber does not make economic sense. And so wireless becomes a great solution for that to serve the less dense, but also scattered density is what I call it, uh, because the density per customer is there they're just not close together to, to make sense for fiber. And then there's another angle in which we use a wireless as a complement to fiber where we may go into a market with wireless first. And then if, if market begins to pick up and it makes sense, we'll go right behind it with fiber. And then in some cases, some customers will say, but I already have great service. Why do I have to dig up my yard now? And, and so you'd be surprised how many times people can't really tell the difference. There was constant fighting with my kids. They were getting mad at me. Why did I get Starlink? There was always service going down or slowing down. It just never lived up to what they were saying. Prices started going up as well too as the years went on. We just had problems and then there's no one to call. And then I was at an event and I ran into someone who offered me VTX and it's been a life change, <laughs> like day and night. We don't have any experience uh, with any kind of downtime. My kids are gamers. They're not fighting anymore. They're not blaming bad internet on me. It was just a super easy transition and we're extremely happy.